Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have news of a change coming up in uh, next year. It's still far away, but we were talking about slowly while you know Microsoft was working on a new mail app for Windows, and of course, there's a standard mail app that you have, which is the uh, the app that has been since Windows 10 pretty much hasn't really changed much. And a lot of people that have been using it didn't really necessarily always find it kind of interesting. And there's, of course, always the, uh, the calendar app that was here. These are going to be changed. So you got this little slider that says try the new Outlook. This is going to be eventually a default. So more and more people are going to be invited to switch to the new Outlook app. Now, that default, the apps that will come with Windows 11 by default starting September of 2024, not this year, next year, will be Outlook for Windows. Kind of remembers, you know, reminds me of the good old days of Outlook Express. Just funny when you think about it, you know. Um, I wish we would go back to Outlook Express. They had a fantastic email providing software there, and, you know, it's... It's, it's Since then, it's kind of everywhere. But anyways, the new Outlook will be something that will be pushed to um, everyone next year. So that will replace the Mail app. It will replace the Calendar app and the People app. All of that will be integrated into Outlook for Windows. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see. And um, we're going to check out how it goes so here you see I just took the switch and it's kind of setting up things I don't know what it's doing exactly but um, you can try it now by of course looking at this little switch just turning it on but next year it's definitely going to be um, a um, a default uh, the mail app and the calendar app as they are right now will be gone from Windows and the uh, new app will be what we'll see. So you'll have something like this. Uh, right now, this is far from being what it's going to be in the end. But that is coming uh, slowly for everyone. So you can try it. Like I said, it's still not finished. It's still far from the finished product. But September 2024, everybody will get it on Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.